We're back with Orja. which I'm absolutely not going to use. Look at how glossy it is. <laughs> We're back with Orzo. We're back with Mr. Orzo. <laughs> Came to feed him. Gave him some treats already. And then I gotta go on my little merry way. Oh, he's so good. Good morning everyone! Coming to you live from the Market Basket parking lot with this incredible angle. <laughs> I got up this morning, started my work day, came to take a little break and go to Market Basket which is a little bit of a drive from where I live, like not a big drive but it's so worth it. Like I can't with these prices, y'all are so good. My plan for the day is to obviously work and make um, cupcakes for Connor because tomorrow is his birthday and I didn't tell him that I was going to make them but I need him to blow out his candles on something. So that's the plan and tonight we're going for dinner in the North End and the place that we are going to does not have dessert so we can't do candles or anything there. I think the plan is to meet Grace, my friend Grace and Kendall in the city um, before we go to dinner because our dinner reservations are kind of late. But I'm really excited. This place is so hard to get reservations at and we made them like, I made them in like August. <laughs> so I am excited for that. And other than that, I got to edit a vlog. We got to maybe put out a podcast yesterday after i went and saw orzo i got my nails done even though it was like six o'clock at night but i needed to have fall nails like i just could not stand the fact that i still had my pink nails and these are a little bit shorter than i normally go for but i needed i needed a fresh start time to drive home <clears throat> and then uh, eat some breakfast finished baking the cupcakes and decorating them I will confess I did eat one it was the exclamation point it wasn't fitting with the vibe some would call it it was an extra and I did not eat lunch so I just ate that one like a couple hours ago because we have really late dinner reservations so I'm like starting to get worried that I'm gonna be starving but I think we might I don't know, he's gonna be here soon, but maybe we'll go into the city and get like an appetizer and a drink somewhere, somewhere before our dinner. We'll see, but I'm freezing. I just showered and blow dried my hair. I am just wearing my PJs, shout out Grace, this is your t-shirt, and I'm wearing my Skims, uh, what Ari calls my Pete Davidson <laughs> pajama pants. Um, he's gonna be here soon. I'll finish getting ready, it's only six o'clock, so 
our dinner is not till nine, so we have plenty of time, but I think, I don't know, he said he'd be here a little after six, it's 6.05. I don't know if I have time to do the dishes. We'll see, but I'm excited because I didn't tell him I was making these and he does really like them and I'm not gonna let him open his presents until tomorrow even though I am always eager for people to like open things immediately and like <laughs> if it was my birthday I'd be like I want to open it right now but tomorrow's his actual birthday we don't really have anything planned so I think that we'll wait for presents tomorrow because that's his actual birthday and we might even wait to do these tomorrow because we might um get like cannolis or something and yeah that's uh that's my update oh i also edited a vlog and uploaded it amazing the internet here even though the download speed i think is really bad the upload speed is amazing which you know means that my work microsoft teams calls are really bad <laughs> but if i can upload a vlog uh in 20 minutes that's amazing so uh yeah i'm excited and i feel like that's all i have to share with you at the moment i did not um do a podcast episode though but that's okay we can't get it all done we can't do it all birthday appetizer birthday app. whoopsies <laughs> first are you excited hello everybody welcome to thursday it's been such a weird day i haven't really been feeling very good i woke up with like almost like vertigo and i still have it it's like 5 30 but i'm really hungry and i just want to start making dinner but yeah, I've had like the weirdest day of like feeling like kind of nauseous and I don't know if I've ever like actually had vertigo before, but it's like what I imagine it feels like. It's it's like I feel almost dizzy and sometimes I'll like get up or something and I just feel almost like a subwoofer in my head that's just like mm, 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 and it's just like <laughs> it's not the vibe it's not the vibe uh yesterday was such an amazing day I didn't vlog anything I don't think I can't even remember but uh it was Connor's birthday and we went and got bagels for breakfast we went on a really nice walk it was so nice outside and um yeah we came back here he opened his present we had cupcakes and i kind of recapped some of that on the podcast that came out today because i did record that late last night and i had trouble sleeping last night it's just been it's been a time and i still i feel like i don't have a headache but it's like tiredness I don't know what it is, but just not feeling great. So I took it easy for some of today and like worked from bed for the last few hours. And now it's 5.30 and I really want to make dinner because I'm so hungry. Also, I did do some laundry this morning and I'm reunited with my Detroit Lions sweatshirt. And I honestly love it. Like there is nothing better than a new sweatshirt. It's an extra large, so it's like kind of big and just like so comfy. So I am going to make a HelloFresh meal. I'm going to make the tostados, no, tostadas supremo with pork. But I think I maybe got turkey. I don't remember. I usually like to sub for turkey, but sometimes it doesn't let me. It has green pepper, lime crema, and pico. And this looks heavenly. But also, like, low-key doesn't look like enough food. So I think what I'm going to do is also make some jasmine rice that I have. And this does come with a lime. So I think what I'm going to do is zest the lime. Does it ask me to zest the lime? No. Amazing. So I am going to zest the lime. 
into, oh no it does because it's lime crema. Although it asks me to basically cut it into slivers, which I'm absolutely not going to do. So maybe I'll just um, put half of the lime zest in that sour cream and then half of it I'll put into the rice and my battery's flashing. So I'm going to go do that and make my dinner. I'm very excited. All right, dinner is done. We've got our gorgeous tortas, tostadas, tostadas. And Ari's is here for when she gets back from the gym. I'm very proud of these. And then I did make little sides of cilantro, not cilantro, lime zested rice. And now I'm going to sit in front of the TV and maybe I'll catch up on the Kardashians. I'm very excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. All right, my camera battery is dying. We've got Wheel of Fortune on in the other room. My dinner was absolutely delicious. And now I am making an apple crisp. This whole uh, video is really about baking. <laughs> this whole vlog. Um, making an apple crisp, I'm using a recipe that is for an apple and blackberry crumble, but I am only going to be putting apples in here, and this is from Tanya Bakes, my favorite cookbook ever, and this is what we're making. I am like absolutely cook everything and bake everything out of here. Obsessed. So I have some apples that a neighbor brought over and gave to us recently so i'm gonna prep all of this and then we're gonna watch jeopardy obviously and ari's gonna be home soon and it's like a little after seven i think i'm feeling better i definitely feel less tired but i still have that like dizzy feeling so i'll show you guys what this looks like when it's all done everybody it's a while later i am back in the car we got here and to killington in vermont and connor has been mountain biking and we got to meet up with his dad and say hi i've been sitting outside reading like all day i'm like exhausted <laughs> and that like dizziness has kind of come back so amazing uh, but my hands were getting really cold. It's so nice outside. Like, the sun is really warm. I was not cold all day, although I'm 99% sure I burnt the back of my neck so bad from the sun. But I'm chilling in here waiting for him. He'll probably be done soon. And I'm warming up. I might eat the rest of my donut that I had this morning. And I'm trying to, like, spot him. But honestly, everybody looks the same in a helmet and on a bike. So, I don't know. But I hope he uh, comes and finds me here and not at the outdoor bar where I was earlier. But uh, we are going to go to Salem tonight and meet up with some of Connor's friends and hopefully get dinner there too. I'm very hungry. And that's the plan for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow we have to get up and we have to run three miles in a road race. So... That's, uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's a race day! Yay! <laughs> Yay! We've got our bibs on. And we're ready to run. 